So today's podcast episode was a request from a listener. We were asked to watch and discuss the film Unlocking the Cage. So we've just finished watching it and wow, mind-blowing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, really, really very, very interesting, highly informative, thought-provoking documentary film. Absolutely. So I think the easiest way to bring our audience up to speed is just to read the synopsis. This is straight from their website. Unlocking the Cage follows animal rights lawyer Stephen Wise in his unprecedented challenge to break down the legal wall that separates animals from humans. After 30 years of struggling with ineffective animal welfare laws, Steve and his legal team, the Non-Human Rights Project, are making history by filing the first lawsuits that seek to transform an animal from a thing with no rights to a person with legal protections. Now, the other thing that this film brought up for me was this human... I don't know what I even want to call it. I don't want to say it's a need, it's a trait, it's a something stuck in our brain where we condition thank you that's a good word let's use that the human condition to always need to understand things on an intellectual level like we we just uh, here's the example so (laughs) i'm getting all worked up here yeah it's a it really really upset me so they they they've got these uh, chimpanzees that mm. they're using for experiments mm. they have taken them i don't know if these animals were bred in captivity or if they were taken from the wild i don't know generally they're taken from the wild first generally exactly yeah. So basically, they've lived the majority of their life in captivity um, under human you know, influence and experimentation. And we're talking decades for many of them. Decades. They're decades. Some of them their entire life. Yeah. It's just awful. And they can live till, that. you know, 60, 65. Yeah, in a cage. And just, you know, you're being manipulated to do what humans want just because we want an answer to something. So in this particular case, they were using two chimpanzees to do research on locomotion to understand the origins of how people walk. Who cares what the origin, We're origins are? We're walking. We're walking. <laughs> Who cares? I think they came up with chimps swing their hips more than humans. Yeah. So what? Exactly. You know, why do we need to understand this? Why do we need to intellectualize everything to such a degree that we will control another being's life and put them through a life of misery and torture? Why do we need to know that? Why can't we just, as you said... Understand that we're now walking. Get on with it. What difference does it make? Why does every other species not need to experiment on other species to understand ridiculous things that don't even matter? That's right. And how how does that make us more intelligent? It doesn't. It continues to entrench us as, you know, the dumbest animal on the planet. I I really think so. You know? You know, and just... Juxtaposed with being the most intelligent in some ways with the technology and what have you. Yeah. That's that... that, uh, paradox it is i just it you know this human need to understand everything from a scientific perspective or some kind of i just i just can't yeah <laughs> i don't care it makes me want to start walking on all fours again you know <laughs> i don't care yeah i just yeah well it reminds uh, me very much what it is is because again it's that whole our thinking that might might makes right and that you know animals were hit were put here for us and i wonder how that would hold up whether we would still you know subscribe to the might makes right and animals were put here for us thinking if a more intelligent species than us <laughs> let, let's go from a technologically uh, advanced perspective yeah because <laughs> the you know the other type